So one of the issues we've seen with powder coaters running into around this time of the year, whenever it gets a little bit colder and drier, is that their masking tape's not performing as well. And typically what we found is as long as they're properly prepping their metal surface and applying pressure when they apply the tape, the issue tends to be that they're storing not only their tape in cold temperatures, but also the metal surface that they're actually uh, trying to mask in a cold temperature as well. So today, what I wanted to do is kind of demonstrate the difference between room temperature tape, which is ideal for adhesion, as well as room temperature or warmer metal surface. And then we're going to compare that to tape that would have been kept in more of like a wintery condition, as well as a colder metal surface to see if there's any tape adhesion difference. Uh, in order to demonstrate this, we're actually going to use this 90 degree peel test machine, and we're going to use one inch green poly, and we're going to use the exact same uh, metal substrate for each one. So to start this test off, we're going to clean off the metal substrates in order to ensure there's no oil or residue that's going to impact the tape's performance. And this is going to help to make all four tests as consistent as possible. After that, I went ahead and applied the tape to the substrate and then used a roller to apply pressure in order to provide a better, more consistent seal for our test. Right after I finished applying the tape to the substrate, I handed it off to Joe for the 90 degree appeal test, which he's gonna take you through now. So today, in order to test the performance of our tapes, one indicator that we use how well tape is adhering to the substrate is using our 90 degree peel tester. We have our universal test machine, we have our peel tester, um, load cell connected to it. We're going to be testing with the tensile force it takes to take the tape off of the substrate at a 90 degree angle. Um, like I said, this is one way that we can indicate how well the tape is adhering to the substrate and therefore translate to performance on a paint line. So the first test that we performed was with a roll of tape and a metal substrate that we had just pulled out of the freezer, and that was our way of simulating wintery conditions. After we performed that test, we used room temperature tape on a cold substrate, followed by cold tape on a room temperature substrate. And then for our final test, we went with room temperature tape and room temperature substrate, and that was our way of going with what we would consider more of the ideal scenario. After performing all four tests, the results were clear. In this chart showing the peel force of each scenario, you're able to see just how big of a difference wintry conditions make when it comes to masking tape adhesion. Just by comparing the room temperature scenario to the wintry condition scenario, there's actually a 40% drop in adhesion performance. This is a big deal when you're talking about masking as it's almost guaranteed to give you quality issues. So what we've seen today is that temperature has a major impact on how well a tape is going to adhere to any substrate. Um, today we just used a metal, but this could apply to many different substrates. Cold plate with cold tape, terrible idea. The ideal situation is to be able to adhere tape at the same temperature that you're going to be applying everything at. And for us, that is room temperature, room temperature. That is going to give you the best results. and. Uh, highly suggest that if you are storing your tape in a cold place or storing whatever the tape is going to be sticking to into a cold place, change that up and try to control that as best as possible for the best results.